What's up everybody? My name's Kamal. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time joining us on one of these lovely expeditions into me talking, um, <laughs> if you like what is going on here, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoy the video, please like the video. Standard YouTube train of thought. Um, so what I wanted to do today is actually look at this story from The Verge about the new Witcher mobile game. So what a lot of people probably know about me is I am not a mobile gamer. I have my PS4, I'll have a PS5 when they come out, hopefully. Um, hopefully I get the first round of PS5s, I'm already signed up, so that would be great. Um, and I don't use my phone for gaming, okay? I have a decently nice PC. Uh, it's not top of the line, but it's definitely not bottom of the line either. And like I said, my PS4, I actually have two PS4s, uh, an old 360, a whole bunch of different consoles. I mean, I've got a Genesis 3. Uh, I, I need to get a Super Nintendo. I had a one of the, like, home, not homemade, but cheaply made, uh, SNES, NES combo systems, but it started smoking and I felt like it was going to light on fire. So I threw it in the garbage. Um, <laughs> um, and you know, I've got Game Boy Color, Switch, Game Boy Advances, dual screens, all that kind of stuff. But none of that really matters. Uh, what the main purpose here is I don't use my phone for gaming with the exception of two games, really. Well, three off and on with the third one. So the first one, the main primary game that I play on my phone is Stardew Valley. Um, I have a phone plan that I don't use mobile data. It saves me a lot of money as long as I don't use any data whatsoever. If I use no mobile data, I pay about $10 a month for my service and I don't have some cheap phone. I have a brand new, uh, whatever the newest model of the Note is, I think it's a Note 10 Plus. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I use Stardew Valley. I play Stardew Valley when I'm waiting for my wife to get off work. We're sitting in the parking lot, my son and I. Um, I also play Pokemon Go because there's a Pokestop right across on the other side of the parking lot here. So I can sit in the comfort of my house and play Pokemon Go once again without using any data. I can collect the stuff, catch the Pokemans, all that kind of stuff. The third game off and on is Final Fantasy Tactics, the original one. Love Final Fantasy Tactics. One of the advanced games that I put the most amount of time into is Tactics Advanced. I love it, it's great. Um, so with, with that being said, I'm sure that you can understand that when I saw that The Witcher is getting a Monster Hunter AR spinoff, similar kind of the same way that Pokemon Go works, I'm pretty excited. I love The Witcher. It, the Witcher is the game that revitalized my love for narrative-based games. When I was younger, I used to love playing games for their story. As I grew up, I got more into games that were more about uh, farming, getting gear, you know, not so narrative-based, but more farming-based. Um, not like Stardew Valley farming, but like Diablo, Path of Exile, World of Warcraft, uh, Champions of Norath, Baldur's Gate, the Dark Alliance series, not the turn-based one. Although Baldur's Gate 3 looks pretty good. I'm probably going to get in on that. Um, long way of saying, I'm pretty excited for this. So let's go ahead and read this story and see what's going on with it. So once again, it is from The Verge and... Let's let's just jump into it. Uh, you might not have you might not have Henry Cavill's arms. No, I don't. Sadly, I don't. I'm not Superman or Geralt. But regardless, but you can still pretend to be a Witcher thanks to a new mobile game. Today, developer CD Projekt Red announced The Witcher Monster Slayer, an augmented reality game for iOS and Android that has players doing their best Geralt impressions to hunt and kill fantasy monsters. Think of it like Pokemon Go but a whole lot darker. Monster Slayer is a role-playing game with a heavy emphasis on combat. Here's how the studio describes it. I haven't actually read through this story. I, I, I read another one at like, I think it was comicbook.com. 
um, but I wanted to go through this the first time reading it with you guys. It says, Monster Slayer lets players explore the world around them while tracking, studying, and fighting monsters both new and familiar, using time of day and real life weather conditions to gain the upper hand. Preparation is key, much like the Witcher game actually. Um, God, I need to go back and play that game on New Game Plus. Uh, but preparation is key in order to defeat tougher enemies, as players will need to brew powerful potions and oils, craft bombs and monster bait, and update their character uh, before putting these beasts to the sword and signs in first-person AR combat. In addition to battling monsters lurking close by, the game also contains rich, story-driven quests inspired by other games from the series, taking players on a full-fledged adventure uh, sorry, on full-fledged adventures that thrust them into the heart of what it means to be a professional monster slayer. The news comes as the Witcher franchise is particularly prominent thanks to the massively popular Netflix series. Very, very good. If you haven't watched the Netflix series, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I've actually considered going through and watching it again so I can keep track of where all the parts with the nudity are at. Uh, that way I can have my son watch it. My son seven years old he loved watching me play the witcher i think he would really enjoy the show but with how many breasticles they show in the show it's not really okay for him so maybe we'll go through and you know like i, I let him watch the pg-13 version of deadpool 2 with certain exceptions to some scenes um but i think he would really like it and it goes on to state which has inspired two different spin-offs an anime and a live action prequel the new game, meanwhile, is expected to launch this year on both iOS and Android, and it will be free to play. So, once again, this is awesome. I'm really excited for this. I know that mobile gaming isn't really something that a lot of people get into, myself included. However, these AR augmented reality type games, much like Pokemon Go, I tried the Harry Potter one, but I wasn't really a big fan of it. It seemed like they were, it was just too many prompts to buy things. Now, that's not to say that I haven't spent money in Pokemon Go. I've, I've definitely spent money on Pokemon Go, but I think I've topped out at maybe like $10 in there. And that's just to give myself an expanded inventory and a couple other random little things here and there that I honestly don't remember because it was when the game first came out. Um, but yeah, the, the Harry Potter ones seem to put a very heavy emphasis on buying stuff, spending money on it, which in my opinion is ultimately why the game was a pretty big flop. Uh, CD Projekt Red is not about that life. CD Projekt Red, by and large, do not like to get people to spend their money on things unless it's really, really, really worth it. So I'm really looking forward to this. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. If you're looking forward to this as well, or if you're just not even going to give it the time of day because it's a mobile game. I know that that's the opinion that a lot of people have. If that's the opinion you have, that's perfectly fine. Um, a lot of people may be aware that, uh, especially by my accent, that I'm an American. And I love <laughs> people's ability to have their own opinions on things and decide if it's something that they want to play or if it's not. Me personally, not into mobile gaming i i will definitely be playing diablo immortal when it comes out at the very least to check the game out and see how good or bad it is with everything i've seen from the game it doesn't look like it's going to be terrible but it also it's it's not a standard diablo experience at least what i would be looking for um but that's all a whole bunch of the useless information that's not needed so like i said in the beginning of the video if you like this video itself please consider liking the video. If you like my channel, if you like the content that I put out, please consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you in the next video. As per usual, the way I close out all of my videos is